say that I'm going to have to put together a battery, it means that I'm going to take a hollow liquid cell battery and pour the electrolyte or battery acid into each individual cell as part of the process to be able to charge it. Most places where you get a battery like this, they will not put it together for you, so you have to do it yourself, but it's a pretty simple process. However, there are certain things that you really need to know first. The one that I got is uh, just from Walmart. It's a Everstart brand uh, motorcycle battery, but I mean, they, they're used for all sorts of things. Now the things that you really need to know are in regards to safety. I suppose that's why one half of the box is dedicated to tell you that this is a very corrosive substance that you're putting in the battery, this electrolyte mix. First, I'm gonna take the actual um, battery itself. And this is really heavy because it's full of lead. That's, that's what each individual cell has in it. There's a cover on the top. You peel that off to expose each individual opening to these cells. Now, it used to be that you would take an acid container like this and pour it in and, and look at the side as there's a little like sight, clear sight line, and you have to fill up each individual cell equally. Now, though, they've come out with a new model where the electrolyte comes in individual containers that are all stuck together exactly the distance apart from each other that these holes are. And to make it even easier, they give you this kit here. And you pull this top off. This is like a series of little funnels. Put these screws and caps to the side. You, you place this funnel directly in the top of it, and each opening has a sharp plastic tube that sticks in. Each opening on the top of the electrolyte bottle has a puncturing top. So when you put this on, you line it up with those spikes and stick it in. Now you can see the bubbles coming up. They are all at once emptying into this battery. And the beauty of it is you don't have to look at the sight line and tell exactly how much is going in because, well, these were all at the same amount. Once it's all emptied in, you uh, just want to tip this out. Be sure that you don't get any on your hands. If you do, just wash it off really fast with water. And then just clean off the top of this. Make sure that, uh, you know, try to get as little as possible to touch your, your, your actual skin. The next step is to put these caps on. And this actually has little grooves that fit the uh, breathers. And this has to breathe. If a battery like this doesn't breathe, it will blow up on its own. So it's good that it has breathing designed into it. Some of the older ones, you just press these on, some of the older ones had uh, sealing caps and then a opening on the side with a little tube that runs down and that's the breather hose. And if you get that breather hose kinked and it bends in half, that the battery could blow up. So it's good that they have these integrated breathers so that you don't have to worry about kinking any hoses and having a battery blow up under you while you're riding whatever kind of power sport this is going to be in. Another thing that I should tell you about this is uh, what this acid really can do. I mean, the picture on the side of the box shows melting into your hand. Well, let me show you. Here, you can see how much it has corroded this, uh, you know, this wrench that I put a little bit on. I had some, some sulfuric acid laying around, and I, I decided to put it on the back of this license plate to see what happened. Well, it etched pretty deep into the middle of this aluminum license plate. That's, that's pretty, pretty, uh, heavy stuff there. I mean, to, to dig out the middle of that, you don't want to get that on yourself. I put it on a couple pennies and uh, it actually ate through part of the exterior coating of the copper. And, uh, and then some paper that I got on, well, this can just crumble like a, uh, kind of like a spice in your hand. It's just, it's just powder when you, when you uh, crumble it. But uh, yeah, so when, w one thing about acid is um, when it dissolves in organic material, like paper or whatever, it's actually, at first, it smells just like vomit. It's, it's the same thing as, as acid in your stomach. Uh, I mean, it's not the same acid, but it's the same effect. So, uh, you just really want to keep it away from anything that you don't want to be dissolved or broken down completely, uh, including yourself and your fingers and your eyes. Uh, when, it, when it comes to a package like this, it's pretty much... It's hard to mess up, but if you if you had to pour it in like this, I would most definitely recommend wearing glasses or whatever you have around.